how does artwork help us heal during difficult times? And how did artists from the past respond to global pandemics? Today, I'm going to take a look at Walter Ufer's painting, Hunger, from 1919, and explore a little bit about its unexpected backstory. Now, Ufer was born in Germany and immigrated to the United States as a young child. He first visited New Mexico in 1914, and in 1917, he joined the Tao Society of Artists. And Ufer was absolutely captivated by New Mexico. And today, he's best known for paintings like Tao's Plaza, and this scene shows a romanticized, peaceful view of New Mexico. The sky is bright blue, there's glowing sunlight. It's absolutely lovely. But in 1918, the Spanish flu hit New Mexico. The Spanish flu had already become a global pandemic, infecting an estimated 500 million people worldwide. And even small towns like Taos were impacted. Walter Ufer and his wife, Mary, volunteered with the town's one doctor to treat the influx of flu patients. And after seeing the Spanish flu overwhelm his immediate community, Ufer painted a very different image of New Mexico. His painting, Hunger, is an allegory for the worldwide destruction and grief caused by both the Spanish flu and the impact of World War I. And there's no golden sunlight here. In this painting, a man and woman bend down in prayer before a crucifix. The stark adobe wall behind them is covered in empty nails, perhaps hinting at other icons or symbols that are lost or stolen. The title, of course, refers to physical hunger, but also to spiritual and emotional hunger caused by the widespread destruction of the Spanish flu. And even the small mouse in the corner of the painting can't find any crumbs. But while these people are clearly grieving, Ufer also shows them finding comfort in one another. The woman rests her hand on the man's shoulder, showing that they're not alone. And Ufer's telling us that we will only get through these times if we work together and care for our fellow humans. And this is certainly advice that we can live by today. So please, during these times, please support your local artists, support your local arts organizations like Gilcrease Museum, and please come by to visit us at gilcrease.org. You can see our online collections and check out both of these paintings by Walter Ufer, along with many other works from the Gilcrease collection. So thank you and stay well.